Thank God it stopped raining, at least for a little bit, so I could film this really cool travel trailer. Welcome to HB RV Lifestyle. They call me the honey badger because I give it to you straight and transparent about the RV business. This is the Forest River Cherokee Gray Wolf 23MK Black Label Edition. Now the Black Label package mainly, not everything, but mainly is frameless windows and fiberglass siding. So instead of it being aluminum, it's smooth sided as some folks would put it. Now, if this is the first time that you have seen my channel, I do about a 10, 15 minute walkthrough of the entire travel trailer. I go over everything without a lot of sound effects, no special editing techniques, no weird stuff at all. It's just you and me talking, okay? So let's get started. So first off, it comes with a power tongue jack, an area for two group of 24 12 volt batteries, two five gallon propane tanks, and it's got a six gallon hot water heater. Now, most people are like, well, what about on demand? I can't stand on demand hot water heaters right now. It's like one of my biggest warranty claims in the industry on the service department side. I like the concept, but it just, it hasn't gotten there yet, okay? Now, the weight, we're gonna zoom in here. <clears throat> Sorry about a little Blair Witch project coming, whoops. Okay, so dry weight, is 5,592 pounds, 29 feet bumper to bumper. So it's under 30 feet, which is great for state and national parks. Coming up here, the GVWR is 7,695 pounds, 3,500 pound axles, and it has 14 and a half inch rims and tires. So in reality, it's very much a half ton towable travel trailer. So a lot of good stuff about it. Frameless windows, outside shower. Uh, the rims are okay, they're not great, but they look pretty good. Coming around, I do like having the rack on the back, especially if you wanna put coolers, a portable generator, and you don't wanna stuff it in your truck. It comes with a backup camera. I like the way they do things. It's not the best quality travel trailer made, it's not the worst quality travel trailer made. It has an outside kitchen, pass-through storage. I didn't take the keys to unlock it. Sorry. <laughs> kind of in a hurry with all the rain we've been having. It's been crazy. Big power awning. And as we go inside, you're going to see that is a rear lounge floor plan. This is very cookie cutter. But it's still one of my personal favorite layouts, and almost everybody builds it. They either put a dinette in the back, recliners in the back, or couch in the back. Me personally, since under 30 feet, I prefer the couch because the couch allows you to have more walking space. So if you have your recliner out, even though it's really cool, you're blocking the way in and out to the door. And this gives you the extra sleeping. And it's a lot easier, and quote me if I'm wrong, it's easier to fold down the couch into a bed than to fold down the U-shaped dinette. Could be wrong. Now, the one cool thing besides this, remove the little cushions here and you got little cubbies on both sides that give you extra storage. You got, on each side of the couch, you have 15 amp plugs to plug in and charge your devices. The U-shaped dinette's really cool. You got um, drawers underneath. If you're a fan of my channel, you know that I actually prefer the drawers over the cabinet. Even though you lose storage, I like the convenience of it. Let me know what you say in the comments section. Okay, I like how many windows are in here. I like the USB ports for your charging station. I like the fireplace, except for I don't like where the fireplace is. Now, there's no real other place to put it in here. But to me, this is just my personal opinion. You guys can let me know what you think. But I think they could have cut this completely out, shrunk it down. That way you could put a bigger TV up here. That's what I say. Because the fireplace really isn't that important. Okay? It's cool. It's a nice ambiance thing. Having a little electric heater out of it. Cool. But I can go get a space heater, plug it in by the couch, and be more comfortable and have a bigger bloody TV, right? Or am I wrong? You got your radio, 
little cabinet right there. That's pretty cool. Uh, the counter space ain't bad for being a smaller travel trailer. It's not terrible. It could be better. Uh, the way you could make it better is you could put an extension up, up right here to flip up and down to give you extra prep space. Uh, you can get one of those little portable islands uh, that you can buy that collapse or roll around. So those are cool things that could help you out if you want to add some counter space. One piece sink. Everybody knows I love the one piece sink. <laughs> Decent cabinet here for pots and pans, maybe some bowls and plates. Uh, the one thing that this floor plan always lacks is storage. Okay, it, it has for years. I mean, there's not much you could do. You just got to kind of get creative. That's where some people like the cabinets under the dinette is it just adds extra area for storage. Uh, smaller uh, oven, that's standard in a smaller travel trailer like this. Three burner stove, again, something that's standard. And finally, a name brand microwave, Toshiba. Okay. Um, everybody's gone to this 12-volt uh, electric refrigerator at Cherokee. Uh, in, in, and I'm going to finish the video. I've been promising you guys I'm going to finish the video. I just haven't quite put the finishing touches on it yet. I'm going to go over why propane electric refrigerators will probably die after the end of 2025. That sucks, but it is what it is. Now, you could take this linen closet area and turn it into a pantry. So if somebody's using the bathroom, you still can't get to your food. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, oh, my sarcasm meter is pretty high today. Now, I do like the look and the convenience of that shower. Now, if you're plugged in to city water, you're going to get some great pressure out of that shower. However, if you work off the water pump and the water tank, you might be a little disappointed just because it looks so cool you may be disappointed in what that pressure actually looks like but look it's got a huge bathroom that's the benefit of this floor plan toilet you don't feel like you're in a sardine can whoops i dropped something because i'm an idiot okay nice big linen closet area not a lot of counter space around the sink but you can make do with it decent deep medicine cabinet and a little bit of storage and access to your plumbing. And now the Coupe de Gras, the separate bedroom with a walk around queen bed. Now, ever since, and, and this, is, this is where I get frustrated. This is a residential size queen, so 60 by 80. I, you, you shouldn't put a 60 by 80 inside this bedroom. Because look how much space you have. Hardly any, right? So I'd rather have the RV queen and give myself the extra eight inches of space to move around. Here's the trick and why. And this is where salesmanship comes in and nobody does it. If you had the extra eight inches in here, what you could do is when you're ready to go to bed, put in those cabinets a little memory foam, roll it up, pull the mattress forward, and put the memory foam in the back so that way yes your feet won't hang off it gives you a little extra space but you have the room to walk into the bedroom without feeling like oh, suck it in oh, oh. okay so that's that but that's that's a problem with every single one of these uh layout i love the layout i know i'm talking a lot of crap i like the layout don't get me wrong it's one of my favorite couples coaches okay because there's so much with it that's enjoyable can you live in it full time? No. Can you go camping for a couple weeks at a time and go enjoy uh, beach camping, national park camping? Absolutely. 